Carrageenan is a material that can be obtained from red seaweeds, which is cultured and harvested in ocean farms in the Philippines, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Our country is a top producer of this material, making our Philippine-grade Carrageenan a very reliable additive in several food applications. As an important raw material, it is used for the local development of new products with cheaper manufacturing cost, makes for a very competitive enterprise with potential for high commercial returns. This material is used as a binder in processed meat, providing a material texture and consistency for keeping its volume intact in storage. Its water retention properties keep the processed meat juicy and not dried or burned when cooked or baked. As an additive in pet food, carrageenan also acts as a binder, similarly giving volume consistency. While pet food can be used immediately without cooking, carrageenan provides a texture appropriate for the chewing characteristics of common pets. It is further used as a gelling agent for one of our favorite desserts or merienda, the leche flan and other desserts gel, like gelatin. Forming gels at room temperature on their own, when dissolved in liquid, carrageenan is a crucial ingredient for these types of food preparations. The property to gel at room temperature extend the applications in other products, as a stabilizer and emulsifying agent in dairy products, beverages, and juices, and as a thickener for creams and sauces. It is also used as additive in non-food products such as lotions, paint, ink, and textiles. The high water absorbent properties allow for its use as an important ingredient in firefighting gels. In this application, it functions to form a water gel layer that is able to absorb more heat compared to air-filled foams. Another material that we can harvest in abundance is pectin, which is present in fruits such as our favorite mango. Pectin is found in the cell walls of plants. It is used as a gelling agent and as an additive in a similar manner as carrageenan. Here in Cebu, we have a thriving mango industry. It has become too easy to bring home dried mangoes from Cebu as a delicious pasalubo, which you can buy in any grocery or even the airport or the pier as a last-minute purchase before boarding for the family and colleagues at work. And from the processing of mangoes, waste peelings and seeds can be collected and recycled as a readily abundant source for obtaining pectin. The University of San Carlos, through the Green Enviro Management Systems Incorporated, or GEMS, developed technologies to obtain pectin from waste mango peels and seeds collected from its partner local industries. To provide more information, let us hear from Dr. Rumel G. Bakaba, the project leader of PCM. The PCM project aims to develop a new additive base using mixtures of carrageenan and pectin to exploit the natural properties of these materials. The mixture is expected to preserve some of the properties of the component carrageenan and pectin that will result into a viscoelastic hydrogel. In order to have the right properties in the end product, the consistency and texture of the mixture must be predictable from an understanding of how much of each material is required and how these materials interact. The technologies we developed at the Medical Biophysics Group and at the University of San Carlos will be utilized to answer our scientific questions. The project will partner with local industries and international academic collaborators. Daghang salamat.